Welcome back with Feature Volcano of the Day, going with Fanul, Fanuale in Tonga. Please correct me in the comment section below if I brought the name of the volcano. Um, but either way, start a volcano, 591 foot elevation, is dormant. Unspecified style of eruptions, yet the last eruption is in 1957. The small, less than 2 kilometer wide island of Funaule, uh, Funaule, um, yeah, I'm not going to pronounce this right anytime soon. Either way, it contains a femoral, a femoral, lac, femoral lacoli active crater. It's still kind of early. It woke up not too long ago. Um, but yeah, which is breached to the southwest with the fresh lava flow extended extending to the sea and forming a rugged shoreline. Steep inward facing scarps mark the rim of a partially exposed caldera caldera which is which contains a pyroclastic cone that is breached to the east and forms the one hundred eighty meter high summit of the island. Blocky lava flows from this cone will uh, fill much of the northern caldera moat and reach the sea through notches in the northern and eastern caldera rims in contrast to the andesitic and basaltic rocks of the other islands of the Tonga Arc Funale lavas are dominantly desitic composition eruptions have been recorded since 1791 with the largest taking place in June 1846 when explosive eruptions produced large draft pumice rafts and ashfall damaged crops on the island of Vavau 56 kilometers away and fell on vessels up to 950 kilometers in distance 1939 explosive explosive and evasive eruption well activity occurred from the summit and Flanks and water spouts were, were reported 1.6 kilometers southeast of the island. Wasn't aware that water spouts could be connected to volcanic activity, but okay. Latest update from August 18th, 2019. New submarine volcanic activity discovered near Fronale Island. New eruption, likely submarine, has occurred or is still in progress. During the past few days of the Vavau Island in the Tonga Archipelago, its origin volcano is still a bit unclear, but the eruption evidenced by fresh pumice rafts and steam plumes is most likely from a submarine volcano near event or near or of event of the small Funale volcano August seventh and reserve sent us the following report. I'll get to that after getting to the background info on there if the, that stuff already didn't spill all the beans on it, and that looks to be the case. No satellite imagery, but back to this news thing. Links to both will be in the description box below, so don't worry about that. Um, following report, around 10.40 a.m. on Wednesday, August 7th, we noticed large clouds of smoke on the horizon at the location of Funale Volcano. The plume continued to get larger over the next few hours. It seemed to pause and then erupt again. The notice published on a website website went largely unnoticed, but makes more sense now that a Catan Maran cruising in these waters came across a large raft of fresh pumice, very vesicular, frothy lava so light it can float, which was produced by the eruption. The following is an excerpt of the detailed report they published on Facebook. Catamaran, Rome, sailing to Fiji, encountered volcanic rocks, pumice, completely covered, covering the ocean surface at location. There's a coordinates at 800 hours UTC, 1900 hours or 7 p.m. local time on August 15th, 2019. Pump rubble slick made up the rocks from marble to basketball size, much th such that water was not visible. Sailing on 
225t, no, 255t, we started seeing some floating rocks of random sizes, marbles to tennis balls, from position coordinates to at position more coordinates. I'm just not going to try to read the coordinates. I'll probably screw that up too. We had faint but dis distinct smell of sulfur at position. There's a coordinates. We started to see and strike larger floating rocks. We took down all sail, allowing the boat to continue to on bare poles at 2 to 3 knots on COG 255T. Cog, I want to say. Um, as we could no longer smell the sulfur, we assumed we w would be in a clear, soon clear of the rubble, so elected to continue at slowest speed. Approximately 700 hours UTC, 7 p.m. local, um, same date at position, there's coordinates. Um, we entered a total rock rebel slick made up of pumice stones from marble to basketball size. The waves were knocked back to almost calm, and the boat was slowed to one knot. The rubble slick went as far as we could see in the moonlight and with our spotlight we have made we made a turn to starboard a starboard and managed to sail clear of the rubble slick under stay sail we have entered it approximately 200 meters and at the edge would have made out in a partial moonlight back to the direction of the northeast it was extensive in all directions. So recent satellite imagery from the area showed discolored seawater by dissolved volcanic gases in the water and steam, likely the same as reported above, suggested that the eruption started around 6, August 6th or 7th. At the same time, the pumice raft can be detected on satellite imagery in several batches covering an area of about 400 square kilometers from the location of the pumice rafts. The eruption point is most likely an yet unnamed and unlisted submarine vo vent or volcano north of the volcanic island of Lat of Late and south of the volcanic island Funalay. Those eruptions still go on. Most recent satellite image images show no, no longer s show no longer signs of new discolored water and pumice rafts, which could either mean that activity is still going on, has decreased to fall, below visible detec detection levels, or has ended. So with that, that's it. Stay safe. See you in the next video.